Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bonus video for you where I'm going to be attempting to make art with toys from Kinder Surprise Eggs. And if you don't know what these eggs are, these are a hollow shell of chocolate with a little surprise toy in the middle which come in these little capsules here. And these are toys I've collected over the past few weeks. I lie, it's been days and I've had three. Anyway, so the toys that I have here, uh, there's this little birdie brush thing where it's like watercolour, it comes with some little bits of watercolour paper. I use the term watercolour very loosely, but yeah, you kind of put water on the brush and make some watercolour with the little bits of paper. And here, what do we have here? Here we have a pen, a water-based marker, and so you can see, there you go, the lid off, and it attaches to these wheels and you kind of draw along with the wheels. I think it's to kind of make a straight line. And yeah, if you have a look at the instructions it comes with, yeah, the two wheels make a straight line. So there you go. And the last one uh, is, what is it? Here we go. It's another watercolor. Yeah, another watercolor. And there is, it's a little wizard. You have to put it together. Look at me try and work out how to put it together. I'm not always very good at putting these toys together because I don't always read the instructions first. I like to work it out myself. So yeah, there we go. It's a little little wizard and he's got a little tuft of hair. And then his hat, on his hat there's some paint, like some watercolor paint, and it's kind of very similar to the, to the bird. So yeah, let's have a look at the instructions. There you go. Yeah, the hat goes on his head. There's me trying to work out whether the hat goes on his head or not. So yeah, there we go. Those are all the toys I'm going to be making art with in this video. So let's test them out. So here I am trying out the pen. It's quite difficult to get the lid off this. You'd think for a children's toy it would be easier, but it's not. And then you attach the wheels onto the pen onto the very end so it's quite close to the nib. And then you glide the wheels along the paper and it should make a mark. There we go. There's some marks. Yeah, it's quite difficult to use. We'll see how this goes. So that's the pen. And now we move on to the watercolor wizard. So on his hat, there is a blob of dry paint and his hair is like a little tufty brush. And I think it looks like he's got a mohawk, which is quite fun. So let's just get some water and try this out. So I'm gonna dip his head in the water here and then put it onto the hat and try and grab up as much pigment as I can because there isn't really a lot of pigment in these paints which is what I expected to be honest it's from like a toy which is about eight pence so here we go let's let's see there we go and I am using normal printer paper here to kind of give myself an authentic experience with these paints because if I was a child I would definitely be using a piece of paper from the printer so there we are now let's move on to the last toy which is the bird and Again, it's a very similar idea to the wizard, but you can put the bird on your finger. That's what it says in the instructions, but it doesn't quite fit on my finger because I'm a grown up, not a child. So I'm not going to be using it on my finger because it'll probably fall off. So yeah, same as with the wizard, you use the water and grab off some pigment. And yeah, this was even worse than the other one because you really had to scrape onto the paper to get the pigment off. And there was limited pigment as well because it started to fade away on the card so yeah this is going to be fun and i'm not expecting great things but it's fun and that's what kinder egg toys are all about so let's try and make some art here so i began by using the wheelie pen to draw the branch and the tree trunk i tried my best to use the wheel function but because it was too difficult for example it can't turn corners very well I decided to take the wheels off for drawing the bird itself. I didn't put a sketch layer down, I didn't use a pencil to sketch out the bird beforehand, I just went straight in with the pen. And you can tell this because there's some very interesting proportions going on on this bird, but never mind. And once I had drawn out the design, I used the watercolour toys, firstly the green and then going over the top with the blue and the red to try and get some shading and depth. But this is very difficult because the pigment in these watercolours was so low. But yeah, I think it turned out okay. This is not something I'd probably do again, but it was great fun to use these toys as best as I could.
So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie and I post art videos usually on a Thursday, but like I said earlier, this is a bonus Sunday video for you because I thought it would be a fun idea to make some art with these toys. I don't normally make art with toys, but I do like to experiment with art. So if you're new, please feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please hit the like button because that really helps me out. So as the time lapse progresses you can see that the watercolour paper is losing its pigment and because it didn't have very much to start with this was even more challenging because I had to make sure the pigment lasted till the end of the painting and some of the pigment started to come off and dye the bristles of the brushes and you can really see that in the wizard quite clearly as he's starting to get a little green mohawk going on but green mohawks are cool so I quite like it like this I actually prefer it to how it was when I opened it up. So let me know in the comments below whether you've tried this before, whether you've tried using Kinder Egg toys for creating art or whether you've used similar types of toys. Let me know your experiences, I'd love to hear about them and also let me know how you think I did with this and would you like to see me do something like this again. So that's really all I have to say about this piece for now, so I'll stop talking and I'll see you at the end when I show you the final result. So here is the final result and here is what the toys look like once they've finished. You can't really see it so well on camera but the bristles have dyed a little bit blue on the bird and you can see it a bit more clearly on the wizard. He has a little bit of a green mohawk going on. And this is the watercolour paper. As you can see it's turned away quite a bit of the pigment but probably could use a little bit of, again if I really wanted to. And this is the pen. It's exactly the same as it was before. And here is the final result. As you can see the paper's wrinkled because it was standard printer paper and it's very very faded and light because there was hardly any pigmentation in the paint but all things considered I think it turned out okay and I had really good fun. So that's all for today's video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on Thursday. Bye for now!